also this morning now as the president-elect is set to hold a second rally on the thank you tour. That's a shot, a live shot this morning inside Trump Tower with the comings and goings. But today he's going to be going to Fayetteville, North Carolina, where Donald Trump's pick for Secretary of Defense, General James Mattis, is expected to join him in their first public appearance together. It comes after the president-elect held sort of a curious meeting yesterday. Al Gore walked in to Trump Tower for his meeting. So we'll see what we can find out about that. Peter Ducey standing by live at the Tower with more. So why is the president, first of all, in terms of the North Carolina, the Fayetteville stop, he's chosen that place to sort of introduce General Mattis in his new capacity, right? Right, and picked it, Martha, because that's where Fort Bragg is. It is a big military town. And as usual, the president-elect is trying to get maximum impact with this first joint appearance with his defense secretary nominee. Transition officials are saying now that it's likely the retired general will say a few words to the crowd tonight. So the thank you rally is also going to be a nice to meet you rally. There will likely be a lot of attention given to defense tonight. But yesterday, climate change was the talk of the tower when Vice President, the former Vice President Al Gore dropped by for a meeting with Ivanka Trump but ended up seeing the next president. The bulk of the time was with uh, President-elect Donald Trump. Uh, I, I found it an, an extremely interesting conversation uh, and uh, to be continued. And I'm just going to leave it at that. And in the last 15 minutes or so, the President-elect signaled what may be his next big fight. It's going to be, it sounds like, possibly with Boeing. He tweeted, Boeing is building a brand new 747 Air Force One for future presidents, but costs are out of control, more than $4 billion cancel order. As for what else is coming today, as usual, the president-elect has a politically unpredictable guest list, among them the CEO of ExxonMobil, the Democrat mayor of Washington, D.C., and Iowa's governor, Terry Branstad, a Republican. Martha. Interesting mix. Peter, thanks.